The show Jihad Exposed on ABN TV had Kamal Salim, an ex-terrorist and guest, and amongst others also the Muslim apologist Shadid Lewis, also known as Mr. Islam Answers Back at YouTube. Shadid Lewis insults Kamal Salim in a very personal, profane way. I posted that fact to Shadid. But he said it's not true and he called me a liar. Who is right? Let's watch. You, you are an ignorant thug terrorist. Uh, you are an ignorant thug terrorist. Uh, you are an ignorant thug terrorist. You, you are an ignorant thug terrorist. You, you are an ignorant thug terrorist. You rush up and we get to know you. You are an ignorant thug terrorist. Wait a minute. The TV show is not called Jihad Exposed anymore. It's now called Shadid Exposed. Some might say, wait a minute. He did not say fuck. He said clock or thug or rock. Well, I heard fuck and others did too. The question is, did Shadid insult Kamal Salim? Yes or no? Shadid says he did not. I say yes, he did. What do you think? Thug terrorist. What do you okay, know about right, Islam? Right, right, right. What do you know about Islam? Shadid, relax, relax. Okay, uh, you're very emotional. Uh, let's turn it over to uh, Ted and see. Look at Shadid's face, full of hatred. That's what Islam does to people. It makes them hate. So much for the peaceful Islam. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I can hear the Muslims complaining all over already. This is ripped out of context. Wait, Muslims love reverb, so they get more reverb. This is ripped out of context. Shadid must have had a right to react that way. The Muslim brother can't be wrong. Uh huh, really? Why is it that Muslims always rip stuff? out of context, but yet accusing others of exactly that. However, here's how it happened. Let's watch. These pagans still kept coming after them. So you're not being honest. Whatever kind of ex-Muslim you used to be, you obviously were not that well educated in what Islam has to say. Well, uh, you still don't know your history, Shadid. You, you're trying, but uh, God bless you, brother. Here's what's taking place. Uh, it is, it's a doctrine. And that doctrine is led the Surah abrogation 256, uh, 2 and 256. You know, these were the abrogation where everything been said, it's been replaced. So because Allah said, I know what's better. I know what is better. So he said, you have to believe me. He's selling his point to the people. What I said before does not apply. Now what I'm saying is better for you. So therefore, this is as far as the Nasekh al Mansukh. Then we have to measure everything. We have to measure everything. And the measuring stick that has to take place in here is what's taking place today. That even after Muhammad, the prophet of Islam, died, his people went and killed. They took over the Arabian Peninsula, all the way to France, all the way to Europe, all the way to Vienna, all the way to Russia, all the way to China. Today, they are in the United States of America, in England, everything. So you can tell me all you want about peace. You either Maybe you are dumb on purpose, uh, trying to be dumb on purpose just to cover this and try to, to pretend that it is peaceful religion. I came dumb. from this religion. I came from this religion and I know what it was. I fought for Islam. Today they are in the United States of America and England and everything. So you can tell me all you want about peace. You either Maybe you are dumb on purpose, uh, trying to be dumb on purpose just to cover this and try to, to pretend that it is peaceful religion. I came dumb. from this religion. I came from this religion and I know what it was. I fought for Islam all my life, all my childhood, every place from Tora Bora, from Lebanon, killing the Christians, to all, to Russia, you name it. 
You lived in America all your life. You don't know. You just came to Islam. So you're talking from Zazi. I've been Muslim for 20 years. Like, please, be quiet. Be quiet. You don't know. You, you were an ignorant thug terrorist. What do you know about Islam? What do you know about Islam? Shadid, relax. Relax. Okay. Uh, you're very emotional. Uh, let's turn it over to uh, Ted and see. You're trying, but uh, God bless you, brother. Here's what's taking place. Uh, it is, it's a doctrine, and that doctrine is led the Surah Abrogation 256, uh, 2 and 256. You know, these were the abrogation where everything been said, it's been replaced. So because Allah said, I know what's better. I know what is better. So he said, you have to believe me. He's selling his point to the people. What I said before does not apply. Now what I'm saying is better for you. So therefore, this is as far as the Nasikh al Mansukh. Then we have to measure everything. We have to measure everything. And the measuring stick that has to take place in here is what's taking place today. That even after Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, died, his people went and killed. They took over the Arabian Peninsula, all the way to France, all the way to Europe, all the way to Vienna, all the way to Russia, all the way to China. Today, they are in the United States of America, in England, and everything. So you can tell me all you want about peace. You either, maybe you are dumb on purpose, uh, trying to be dumb on purpose just to cover this and try to, to pretend that it is peaceful religion. I came from this religion. I came from this religion, and I know what it was. I fought for Islam all my life, all my childhood, every place from Tora Bora, from Lebanon, killing the Christians, to all, to Russia, you name it. You lived in America all your life. You don't know. You just came to Islam. So you're talking from Zazi. I've been Muslim for 20 years. Like, please, be quiet. Be quiet. You don't know. What you, you were an ignorant thug terrorist. What do you know about Islam? All right, all right. What do you know about Islam? Shadid, relax. Relax. Okay, uh, you're very emotional. Uh, let's turn it over to uh, Ted and see. Look at Shadid's face, full of hatred. That's what Islam does to people. It makes them hate. So much for the peaceful Islam. Islam is false. Jesus Christ is Lord. God bless you.